Hey guys, Brianna and Brendan here. Married in the summer of COVID, we were ready to start a life of adventure together. Ready to take on anything. After a couple years of wedding planning, new jobs, house hunting, losing a baby and gaining a puppy, and finding what it truly meant to become one, we are now ready to set sail. Ready to pursue our dream of finding true serenity and adventure in our moments of relaxation together. The pursuit of making Christ and each other priority. Tag along with us. fix the starter issue um, it's just gonna come off until I get a new starter and see if that fixes the problem of the grinding um, we might have to get the new flywheel if I can't get it fixed like that I guess we'll just have to take it to a boatyard um, have them fix it for us but in the meantime I have a 20 horse tiller motor which will work to get us off the dock and out into the big water so what is this boat actually equipped for when we're talking about a motor? What do you mean by that? I thought that it should have a 50 horse on it. Not that it should, it's just rated for a 50 horse. So we couldn't put a 50 horse on here. Because I don't know anything about boats and engines. Is it bad to have something with less horsepower on it? That all depends on how you want to use it. So since this is a hybrid boat, it is both a sailboat and a power boat. That's why it has the capacity to go to a 50 horse. So you can use it as a power boat, but that's not what our intentions are. We want to use it as a sailboat mostly. So it doesn't really matter how big of a engine we have on it, just as long as we have one that could get us out onto the water. Okay, that makes more sense. Yes. reglassing do we have to do um to get out on the water not a lot i want to i would want to get like these chips fixed up before we get out there stuff like that um and then obviously the the crack that we have down here um this has a lot of stress cracks and then that one big one running down the middle so, so could gonna, the motor fall off while we're sailing if we I mean, don't fix it? Uh, I guess it's probable or it's possible. I wouldn't say that it's probable. I just think that you know everything about everything. I knew everything about everything. Do you think you would have that Beneteau that you want? Oh, that would be nice.
I totally think you're strong enough. Oh yeah, totally strong enough. That's crazy. What is? How light this aluminum is. Aluminium. Yeah. Alu aluminium. You thought it'd be a lot heavier. I did. I let my hand drop because I was like, I'm actually a weakling. Drama. Now oh. we can see that crack better. Yeah, you can. You can definitely see it better now. All these little ones. So you're just gonna re-glass this whole thing in here? I am. I'm just gonna redo it all. Take a look at episode four for the full removal. Okay, so Brendan is at work currently. You can see the barn is still a disaster, so he can work on that tomorrow. But I'm gonna be in the boat um, working on cleaning up the ballast, or I'm sorry, the bilge, because it is so stinky and it's gross and it just smells like kind of like mildew in there. So um, I'm going to climb in there, work on doing some mega cleaning. So stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. Here in no time, I am going to be climbing all the way back here to um, clean out the back end of the bilge because I figure start from the front or start from the back and go up. Um, this side's gonna be the hardest, I think. So we're gonna see how it goes. Some of this we're gonna try some heavy duty degreaser after research. Everybody said to use some sort of degreaser to clean out the bilge. So we'll see if it works or not. I have no idea if it's going to. for the night. Brendan's gonna be off tomorrow so he can do more bilge cleaning. This might be the worst part of this entire project. Just heard a knock at the front door. Looks like we got our new steering cable on.
quite sure what the worst part is now. I don't even want to know what's in my hair right now. I, I don't want to have... No. Look at these. <laughs> oh, it's going to rain. So I need to clean up and do something. Oh my gosh. Buffed up a little bit, trying to get some of the oxidation off from sitting for so long. And I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm trying to make it shiny again. And it's kind of getting shiny. Today, instead of tearing apart the boat more, we're actually getting the chance to put it all back together. Did you try to stick it to that? I can't get it. Did you try to stick it to it? Okay, the other one stuck. like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys. Bye. Did you see that we're on Patreon as well? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Be and be serenity.